Tori here today and um, I'm making a scrap your scraps video so I have my bin of scraps and then I have the supplies that I'm going to use so today I'm going to use my cuddle bug and my scraps and I have a couple of different stencils here that I'm going to use now first of all I want to say if you don't have a cuddle bug or a big shot or or a die cutting machine um, and you don't have die cuts don't worry you can do this um i'm gonna make a bunch of leaves for today's scrapbook page and so i happen to have a couple of dies that i thought would work really well um like this one here and uh this one i i think these dies are from i want to say like maggie holmes or crepe paper and then these ones here are from studio calico like old I've had them for a while, so I'm going to use them all, but this would be a really easy shape to cut out, so if you didn't have um, die cuts, you could totally just cut this shape out. So I'm going to cut out a bajillion of these little leaves for my project today, because I think that they will look really good. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to stick you guys on fast forward, um, and I'm not going to make you actually sit through the die cutting part. Um, but once I'm done and I have all the leaves cut out of my scraps, I'll bring you guys back, okay? Okay, so I cut out all my leaves and you can see them there. I just put that, them in this little heart um, jar or dish that I had. And I don't know how many I cut out. I just cut out a jillion <laughs> or it felt like it. And um, just until I felt like I would have enough um, and I tried to cut them all out of all different colors or pieces of patterns. So um, I was looking for a background and I thought about going with white, but I really wanted a colorful background. So I decided to use um, this like cream background and it's from the poolside collection. It's an older collection, I think. Um, and then I used this pink paper from my Felicity Jane kit. I think it's from the Chloe kit or the Tuesday kit. And I wanted to just add like a piece of pink on the side. I'm not really sure why. I just felt like it would look good. And so I just ripped it or tore a piece. And then um, I'm going to add my photos and my leaves. So I have two photos today um, that came from... Uh, this cottage that we went to for work so um, this past year we did a staff retreat at this camp um, for my job and I just took these two photos um, they're like one was the night and then one was during the day and I just sort of liked how these two tree photos showed like the same kind of um, place but from two different perspectives like one was all foggy and then one was bright and sunny and um, I feel like it has to do with like just turning a new leaf um, changing things up um, our staff retreat we ended up like talking a lot about like how we wanted to improve things and what we could do better and um, I don't know for some reason the thing like turn a new leaf kept coming to my mind so then I was thinking about leaves and the tr there's trees here without any leaves so I thought why not make a page with a bunch of leaves and make it a scrap your scraps photo so I, I don't really have any rhyme or reason with these leaves I just sort of grabbed my hot glue gun and started sticking them all down <laughs> sorry in different directions and different ways. Um, at one point I decided to use the solid colored leaves first and get those all down and then add the leaves that had like cut out pieces um, just because I felt like the solid ones worked well in the background and then the, the lighter ones worked well on top. And I'm gonna let some of the leaves sort of float off um, of where the photos are too. Um, and you'll see that in just a moment. So I had fun gluing these down. I mean, the thing is, like, don't feel like you have to be really particular. I think when you just sort of go and p go with your first instinct is what I would say. So, like, pick up a leaf, add glue to it, and then just stick it down. Um, and 
because I know a lot of us tend to like overthink things and then they look overthought like when you look at the page you can tell that the person was like so particular about where they put it down and for this one I just really wanted loose leaves because the truth is when leaves fall from the tree trees um like these two trees here in these photos the leaves aren't on the tree they're on the ground and when leaves fall from the trees they fall like they just land where they land they they're not in a perfect little pile they just sort of fall down and that's where they go so I guess my encouragement for you today for today's scrap your scraps is whether you're going to use leaves or some other item um just let them go where they go and maybe just let them fall where they fall or go with your first instinct and stick it down and I sort of went with my rule of thumb which is more more is more <laughs> which I know is not everybody's rule of thumb but for me it works <laughs> and I just like how they look like the leaves have fallen just wherever they would have fallen naturally and I also really like how the leaves are sort of framing the photos. Like I, I didn't end up matting my photos, which I normally do. And I felt like it wasn't really necessary for this because the leaves sort of created that mat for the photo. So I'm going to keep the rest of this layout quite simple. Um, I added a tab with a date. So it was November last year. And then I wanted to add some buttons because I saw a page that... Paige Evans, one of my greatest inspirations had done where she had used leaves on a tree, like she had made a tree with leaves and she had used buttons on top of her leaves and it looked so pretty. So I thought, why not? Why not add buttons on top of my leaves too? So I'm sorry guys, I'm yawning. <laughs> I must be really tired. And so I just grabbed some buttons and I hot glued them on. And I feel like I haven't used buttons in a long time, even though they're one of my favorite items, which is weird. So I like that. And I just added a few of each color. And now I'm going to add some journaling. Um, so I'm going to just grab some of the circle labels from the cut apart sheet for my Felicity Jane kit. And I'm going to add one at the bottom and one at the top. So what I've did was add my journaling first and then I stuck it down and I did let a leaf like partially cover it up but that's okay I think it looks good and then I'm going to add some more journaling to the other one and stick it at the top and you know what after that's done this layout is pretty much done I don't think I add anything else I'm happy with the way it is um, the truth is that it's so busy that I think if I had added a lot more embellishments or a lot more journaling or anything it would have just become too busy so yeah okay well that's it for me today i hope that you guys really enjoyed today's scrap your scraps video and i hope it encourages you and inspires you to pull out your scraps and use them and just let it fall where it falls and more is more <laughs> okay guys bye have a lovely day